All right, YouTube, today we're looking at a pretty standard problem that gives people trouble. And that is a situation where we've got an object, in this case, a block, and we've cut a hole out of it. And we need to solve for either the center of area or center of mass of this now holy block. Now, if you're sitting in math class, you're probably gonna call this a center of area or a centroid. And if you're stuck in physics, you're gonna call this center of mass. But realize, so long as this plate is of uniform thickness, and we haven't done anything weird to it, we're talking about the same thing here. The center of mass and the center of area, in this case, are gonna be the same. Now, anytime we're doing a center of mass problem, uh, the first thing we need to do is establish some reference position or an origin. And the easiest place to do that is this bottom left corner right here. So we're gonna call this zero, zero. Now, to work out the center of mass, the first thing we're going to do is set up a table to keep all the information in this picture organized. So we're going to look at the object and the mass or area of each object, as well as each object's horizontal and vertical position. Now, it looks like we only have one object, this block, but in reality, there's actually two things here. The first is the block. The second object is the hole which we've cut out of the block. Now, we don't know anything about the mass of this block. But what we do know is that if this material is of uniform thickness, then the mass and area are gonna be proportional to each other. So looking at this term here for our area, uh, the area of the block is simply going to be the base of the block multiplied by the height. That's three times three, which is nine. Now I know it's tempting to wanna to consider this hole here, but what we're first doing is looking at just the block as if there was no hole. We'll worry about the hole later. Now looking at the center of area or center of mass of the block on its own, we know horizontally the center of area or mass of the block is going to be halfway between the left and right edge of the block. So that's a position of 1.5. And vertically we see a similar thing. The center of mass or area vertically is half the height of the block, which is also 1.5. Now working out our values for the block is pretty easy but the hole is the, the key or the trick to the entire problem. See, when we remove this material, this hole has some area. And knowing the radius is 0.75, we can solve for that area. And that area of the hole is 1.77. But here's the trick. Because we cut away this material, this hole actually has a negative area. We've removed material. If we were to leave this positive, we'd be saying we're actually adding extra material to this point. Now the hole is at a horizontal position of two and a vertical position of two. Now our equation for center of mass or center of area is given by this equation. Now technically speaking, if you wanted to solve for center of mass, you'd put in your values for mass here. But again, going back to the idea that the mass of this block is proportional to its area, we can interchange mass and area here without problems. So plugging in our values from our table into the equation, first looking at the block itself, the block has an area of nine and a horizontal position of 1.5. The hole has an area of negative 1.77 and a horizontal position of two. We find the center of mass in the horizontal axis is gonna lie 1.377 to the right of our origin. Now we can do the same calculation using this equation for the vertical axis, except rather than plugging in our x values here, we can plug in the y values. But as you'll see, the horizontal and vertical positions for both of these objects are the same in both the x and y axis which means if we were to plug in these y values to this equation, we're gonna get the same value for the center of mass or area in the y-axis. And we find in two dimensions, the center of area of this block with the hole cut out of it lies right here. And that's slightly below and to the left of where the center of mass of just the block was on its own. Think about it. If we were to remove material from the upper right corner of the block, that's going to shift the center of mass or center of area down and towards the left. And that's exactly what we've seen here. So using a negative area for this hole that was cut out of the block is what's called using a subtractive method of finding center of mass or center of area. I hope you found this useful. And on that note, 
That's all for now.